the fear you let build up in your mind is worse than the situation that actually exists. So we are, we as a joint committee are coming into a community with no fear and um, we have a set of values, goals, our vision um, and we are fearless in our pursuit of these goals. Um, just to give you a brief, so I'm sure you've heard the history of the coalition, how it was founded, um, and that we have the two committees. So our goal as a joint committee, we actually focus on the culture and heritage aspect, health, youth, family support, and education. The joint committee works to preserve our culture and heritage to protect our mental and physical health. Um, and seeks to teach our children and families how to improve their wellness and build generational wealth. Woo! Our mission is to build a sustainable African village in the Northwest so that the African diaspora can be empowered and thrive. And our vision is to sustain the African village by providing access to resources so that the African diaspora is empowered um, for generations to come. So as you can see, our vision is not short-sighted, it is long-term, we're looking at generations to come after us. Uh, we are working so that the ones that come after us can run. Mm. We view each other as uh, trusted brothers, sisters, family members, as you've had, we are also called the village. Uh, because family values are very um, central to our mission. Uh, we mirror the respect, professionalism, and support we would want provided to us. Honesty, respect, those are some of our values, and we try to uphold win-win situations in whatever we do. We always ask the question, does it take care of the concerns of each and every member affected? We try to get into mutually beneficial engagements and partnerships, as well as collaborations. Um, and I heard from one of our council members earlier, um, I believe it was Jeremy Sooks, he said that, um, you know, that would love for us to get together more with the Bellevue crowd and become a model for diversity. I really appreciate that. Um, and it's exactly uh, important in our mission as well. That's what we're trying to do is to, um, you know, become one big village, work together, collaborate. So thank you both of you for the warm welcome. So in terms of projects, we have worked on several projects. I will not uh, drag this up for too long, uh, but one of the biggest projects that we just concluded recently, where we're just in the process of tying up, is the um, Washington Indian Relief Fund uh, program that's helped a lot of our community members. And there are a lot of uh, our members in here that have been working tirelessly with our community to um, you know, help our members apply, get them uh, that grant, and a lot of our members were quite successful in um, their applications, uh, so they got some COVID relief money, uh, which will go a long way in obviously alleviating uh, the problems that arose as a result of the pandemic. And that film is available on Netflix right now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the men, the legends, the combat. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not have money. I don't know what she was doing over there, but thank you so much. I'm humbled to be here. If you're happy to be here, I know not all of you are Christians, but the ones who are here who love and believe in the higher power of God, say amen. 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 I have a short story, but you know me, I'm a storyteller. I live in North Seattle by Greenwood. There's a park there called Kaki. I mean, I mean, Kaki, Greenwood Kaki. It's a park, it's in the base. There's a train that goes there. Every Saturday morning, when the people I live with don't make breakfast, I go for a walk. Do you live with people who don't make breakfast? I suffer, this America, they don't make breakfast here. So, when I don't make breakfast, I walk down Kaki Park to get my morning run. How many people exercise? Exercise? Exactly, you have to sweat a little bit. If your job is not hard, you have to sweat. Makes you younger. I see an old white woman. For some reason, all white people wake up very early and they walk their dogs. In Africa, I used to wake up early to walk my grandfather's cows and dogs. 
So I think we both have pets, correct? <laughs> the only difference is in Africa we eat our pets. Our chickens, our goats. This old lady, I used to wonder why she sits by the water and she cleans this cage, metal cage, green, dusty. There were three, four turtles around all the time. I used to call her the turtle whisperer. One day, out of curiosity, because naturally as an East African, I'm nosy. I want to know what my neighbors are doing. So I go there and ask her, what are you doing with this cage and these turtles? Every time, do you eat them? She said, no. She said, I clean them. They are scrub. I didn't know that turtles that live in water get dirty. Same analogy, I wonder why our towels stink. If you took a shower, shampoo. The turtle, she has to scrub them because a lot of the pollution in the water ages the, the whole thing they carry. And I asked her, in my African way, when you do this work, who pays you? <laughs> you just wake up and start scrubbing people for no reason. <laughs> she said, if the turtles could talk, if that one turtle could have a voice, that turtle will say, you changed my world. Is that why we're not here? Is that why we're here? Is that why we're not doing this job? We're not here to be put on billboards. That's why I refuse to my face to be up here. I'm scared. <laughs> We're here to do community work and impact people's lives. Is that not true? Yes. And that's why, knowing that we are from Africa and we love gifts. If you love gifts, say yeah. yeah. We have some gifts here for you. But we want to make sure, me and the beautiful queen from Zululand, that you are paying attention to what we are talking about today. Wasco. Washington Coalition of African Community Leaders is our first question. Look at the logo. Now look at me. You're going to ask the first question about that logo. Okay, I conveniently had the logo taken off because our first question is how many, and I'll need you to raise your hand and then I'll point to you. Don't just shout the answer, okay? How many colors does the Wasco logo have? I have a gift. Oh. I said to raise a hand. Raise your hand. Don't be bold. Okay. <laughs> Four colors. Is that correct? What colors are they? What colors are they? Yellow, Yellow. green, black, and white. Wait, is there a white? There's white. This is yellow. There's white. Five colors. Can I have this? Uh, you, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah, how many? Hmm. Are they four or five? I do not see what's around the African man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How many color, how many people see four? Ooh, we didn't have color blind test. Yeah, we have to make sure it's color blind. How many people see four colors in the logo? Four colors. Okay, I'm going to walk you I'm just going to walk you through the logo, ladies and gentlemen. We have the yellow, the one, the lettering that says of African leaders. We have the black, which says Washington State Coalition. And then we have... Um, so yellow, black, green, blue, and green. So it's five. Six. Five. Six. Six. How many was it? Six. Six. Five. How is it five? Five. Six. Okay, we have green. The what? It's not white. white. It's like another shade of blue. It's not white. Four colors. He wins. You win. Just let him have the. Okay, uh, 
Okay, how many council members did we have join us today? I reach, I, I'm going to need somebody to raise their hand and then say the answer. Okay, I have you, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Can you name one of them? That's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it for you.
people, ladies and gentlemen of Wasco, we are on a very tight schedule to get the best looking representation of Africa in Belgium. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. First, we're going to introduce the contestants of Miss Wasco Beauty Pageant 2023. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the country, beautiful country of America. I'm going to start from here. Uh, what are you, which country are you representing now? I am representing three countries. Hey. Hey. Kenya, Uganda, and Zambia. Hey. Hey. Excellent, sorry. And then we have Jacqueline. What country are you representing? I'm representing Rwanda. Rwanda, next up. I am representing Ethiopia slash Tigray. Congratulations, yeah. Ethiopia slash Tigray. And we have. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> My designer is next to me, yo. <laughs> Standing right next to me. So, I represent two countries. <laughs> Nigeria from yeah. Yeah. and then the smiling coast, the Gambia. <laughs> I'm representing Nigeria. Uh -huh. I am representing Zulu South Africa. Yeah, this is 
Oh! 